Hello, I'm Dr. Tina Cannon from Chenega State Community College and in this video I'm going to show you how to use your uh, TI calculator to sort data. This is very important when you're trying to construct a frequency distribution or just take a set of values and uh, work with uh, statistical elements of it. So what I want to do is I want to call up Course Compass and we are looking at where it says calculator instruction we are in unit one and the handout that I'll be using in the video is sorting data now at the beginning of this we can see that it starts out talking about a set of values but what I want to do is scroll down to the bottom and show you something very important there is a common problem um, a lot of times people will accidentally delete list out of their calculator so notice at the bottom if the entire column of a list including the title is accidentally deleted from the calculator it can be restored and we have the the commands for this let me call up my calculator and turn this on and I have some values under statistics. Now, to get to um, to the list, you always push the statistics button, STAT, and edit is where our values are located or if you want to place values. Now, currently, I have some values in list 1. What I want to do is I want to show I want to do it the wrong way, so do not do this. Okay, um, if I want to clear a list, what I normally do is I move up to the top where it says L1 and I push the button that says clear. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mistake on purpose <laughs> and I'm going to push the delete button and I'm going to show you what happens. If I push delete, the whole column disappears. So to get this back, notice it says in our commands, it says push STAT. Notice down here it says setup editor number five. If you push the number five and push enter, notice it says done. Now go back to stat and enter. Notice the list is back. So if you accidentally delete any list out of your calculator, you can always push stat five enter. Now, what I want to do is clear the values out of the calculator. So I'm going to move on top of L1. Make sure you're on the top. And notice all your values will be listed. Hit push clear and enter. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our values that we have in this problem and we're going to type those into the calculator. So it'll take me a, a second to do this, but I want to type the values in. And uh, notice they are not in order okay um, what these values that that we are given is talking about actual weights of uh, baseball players that are on the Atlanta Braves ball team and it's of the pitchers on the team so let's type in the values and at this point um, you can pause the video and you can type in all of your values into your calculator. I had to uh, do this because I wanted to show you if I accidentally deleted the list what happened so I wasn't able to have this in ahead of time but that's okay. We'll get it. It doesn't take very long. And remember, the main reason for this video is to show you how to sort these values. So this is the very first part, is always type them into your list. Now someone says, well, do I have to always type them in list one? No, you can type them in any list that you would like to do. But usually uh, the calculator is defaulted. It has a default setting to uh, list one when you actually use uh, the calculator so most time you want to put it in list one now if you notice right now this says that I'm at space 23 if I come up at space 22 if I count there should be 22 uh, sets uh, pieces of data so what I want to do is I want to double check that because a lot of times if you make a mistake this will help so notice uh, one of these is see uh, one row of this we have one two three four five six seven eight that'd be eight be sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty two and twenty two so that's great now uh, we have the steps 
listed. Let me scroll this down and then I'll pull my calculator back up. And remember what we're wanting to do is sort this. So notice it goes through uh, step by step, tells you what to do. We just did the first ones. Notice it said push stat and enter. And that's what we did. If you push stat and enter, that's where we had this. And then they tell you to type in your values. So we're at that point. Now, to sort the values, I'm going to scroll up. Notice to sort the values in ascending order, it says to push stat. And then notice it has sort uh, A. This means sort ascending. D is sort descending. So notice it says uh, we can scroll down to sort A if you want to move your arrow key down. And uh, then press enter. And what happens is that we the cursor starts flashing at this. Now, what happens is you have to tell it which list your values are going to be in. So notice uh, in my instructions, type in the name of the list that should be sorted and then close the parenthesis. So if the data is in list 1, which that's where we placed ours, press the following keys. Now I want you to notice above the number 1 it says L1, but the keys will be 2nd and the number 1 and then close the parenthesis. Okay, press enter and it should say done. Now the value should be in ascending order and to go back to your values you push stat and enter and notice now we have all of our values in order. So when we're looking at the pictures for the Atlanta Braves we can see that the lightest weight picture was 170 pounds. If you uh, push the arrow key down and go to the bottom somewhere we'll get there there we're at 22 the heaviest picture was 230 pounds so now we have these placed in order and we can uh, work with the values and construct a frequency distribution or some other things so this is uh, just a video just to show you how to go about sorting values